The Topsy Turvies, story by Francesca Simon, pictures by Emily Bolam. Once upon a time there lived a family called the Topsy Turvies. The Topsy Turvies always got up at midnight. They put on their pyjamas, then went upstairs and had dinner. Eat up, Minx, said Mr Topsy Turvy. Minx juggled with her sausages. Clever girl, said Mr Topsy-Turvy. Jinx, stop eating with your fork, said Mrs Topsy-Turvy. You know that's for combing your hair. Please use your fingers and toes. Could you pass the jam, please, Minx, said Mr Topsy-Turvy. Minx dipped her fingers in the jar and hurled the jam at her father. Thanks, said Mr Topsy-Turvy. Could you pass the whipped cream, please, Jinx, said Mrs Topsy-Turvy. Jinx flung a handful of cream at his mother. Thanks, dear, said Mrs Topsy-Turvy. Then it was time for school. After school, they went to the park. Then they played beautiful music together and watched TV. Afterwards, they ate breakfast. Then it was bath time and then they all went to bed. Every night and day at the Topsy-Turvy's was exactly the same until one afternoon a loud knocking at the door woke them up who could that be at this time of day yawned mrs topsy-turvy it was their neighbor mrs plum oh dear said mrs plum were you just leaving no said mrs topsy-turvy why would i go outside wearing my coat i'm sorry to bother you said mrs plum but I have to go out. Could you come over and look after little Lucy? She's as good as gold. Mrs. Topsy-Turvy was very sleepy, but she liked helping others. Of course, said Mrs. Topsy-Turvy. We'll be undressed in a minute. As soon as everybody was ready, they went next door to Mrs. Plum's house. Thank you so much, said Mrs. Plum. Do make yourselves at home and have something to eat. And off she went. Mum, why is Mrs Plum wearing clothes outside? said Minx. Shh, said Mrs Topsy-Turvy. Everyone is different. Topsy-Turvy goggled at Mrs Plum's house. Nothing looked right. Poor Mrs Plum, said Mrs Topsy-Turvy. Let's make the house lovely for her. The Topsy-Turvies went to work. They fixed, they fussed, and they put the room in apple pie order. That's better, said Mr Topsy-Turvy. Careful, Lucy, don't put that apron on. You'll get paint all over it, said Mr Topsy-Turvy. Lucy, don't draw on the paper, said Mrs Topsy-Turvy. Draw on the walls. Isn't she naughty, said Minx. Not everyone can be as well behaved as you, dear, said Mrs Topsy-Turvy. Lucy, what a lovely picture. I'm hungry, said Jinx. So am I, said Minx. Mrs Topsy-Turvy looked at the clock. Mm, it's almost five. We might as well have breakfast, said Mrs Topsy-Turvy. Let's see what food we can find in the bedroom. It took them a very long time to find where Mrs Plum kept her food. What an odd house, said Mr Topsy-Turvy. How funny to eat in the kitchen, said Minx. Breakfast is under the table, said Mrs Topsy-Turvy. Don't forget to wash your feet. What's for dessert, said Minx. Tomatoes, said Mr Topsy-Turvy. Yippee, said Jinx. But no tomatoes until you finish your cake. Do I have to eat all my cake? said Jinx. Yes, said Mrs Topsy-Turvy. Suddenly there was a noise at the window. It was a burglar. Hooray, we've got a visitor, shouted Minx. And he's coming through the window, shouted Jinx. Let's make everything lovely for our guests said Mrs Topsy-Turvy. Please, have something to eat, said Mr Topsy-Turvy, throwing tomatoes at the burglar. The burglar looked unhappy. Have some cake, said Jinx, hurling his leftovers. 
have some of mine, shouted Minx. Mine too, shouted Lucy. The frightened burglar escaped as fast as he could. Why did he run off, said Minx. I don't know, said Mrs. Topsy-Turvy. Then Mrs. Plum ran in. <gasps> Is everything all right, said Mrs. Plum. I just saw a burglar jump out of the window. Everything's fine, said Mr. Topsy-Turvy. You chased away a burglar, said Mrs. Plum. Thank you so much. Goodness, what a mess he made. What mess, said Mrs. Topsy-Turvy. The Topsy-Turvies waved goodbye and went home. Mrs. Plum should have said thank you for making our house so lovely, said Minx. Never mind, said Mrs. Topsy-Turvy. It takes all sorts to make a world. Thank you.